All right, what I'd like to do is uh, go over you, just an overview of what sets are. So first thing, set is any collection of objects. Now, there's many ways that we can uh, represent sets. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna represent a uh, set to start off of with just a nice circle. So one thing I could say is, you know, I could have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So this would be a set of, um, of letters, all right? And one thing we have, when we have a general set, one thing that you can say is, actually, no, let me do one more. Uh, you can call this either, you can call it a name, you know, set A or, you know, letter set. A lot of times when you have a set that contains everything, this is what we call our universal set. So a universal set is uh, the collection of objects that pretty much contains all the objects that are in all the sets. So next thing in these, each one of these little um, letters in here are what we call an element. So an element is any object that's in the set. And the way that we like to write that is for, let's say you could say A is within the set. So let's say A is contained, that's what that means, is contained in set in the universal set. And if I was gonna write, give this a name or something, I'd say A is contained in the name of that set. You could also say that C is an element or contained in my universal set. The next thing you could say is, um, you could deal, uh, you can talk about subsets. So a subset would be a um, set within a set. So let's just call, let's do our vowels, E and I. And let's actually give that a name. Let's give that a, let's just call it vowels. Okay? So when to say that something's a subset, you could say vowels, which in this, in this example is E and I, vowels is a subset of you. You could also, you know, you could also say E is also you know, an element of you, I is also an element of, uh, I is also an element of you. And since they are a set, a subset together as they're the only vowels in here, we could say that the vowel subset is now an, a subset, the vowels is a subset of your universal set. Uh, a couple other things that we can work with is, let's say um, if, I had another, if I had another set that was empty, So that just mean, let's say I make up another set. Um, and let's say that set contains nothing in it. Well, then we have a couple ways, and I'll give you actually an example of this in a second. So our empty set, we write just pretty much two brackets with nothing in between it, or write it zero with a cross through it. And the last thing we can say is, how about we deal with our, our complement set? Now, I'm actually gonna give my set, my universal set, a name. So I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna give this. Teachers, part of the interruption. Marsha Millstone uh, or Charlotte Morrison, please set. call 1013. Marsha Millstone, Charlotte Morrison, please call 1013. Oh, no. Let's use our vowel set. What am I doing? So let's use the complement set. Let's say vowels is my. We know vowels is a set, and you can use brackets to represent a set, is E and I. So therefore, if I wanted to go ahead and say, what is the complement? And the way that we write complement is we use a little uh, kind of one apostrophe there, or prime. We say vowels, use the complement symbol. Well, what the complement means, that means everything that's not in vowels, but that's still in my universal set. 
So I gotta look at there. So what's not in this subset, but that's in the rest of my universal set? Well, you could say it's A, B, C, D, F, and G. So I can write it in brackets, and I just write A, B, C, D, F, and G. And in a, and that's pretty much um, that's pretty much uh, how you're gonna do complement. Now, what I was gonna show you, if I was gonna say, what is the complement of U prime, my universal set? So what's everything that's not in the universal set, but that's in the universal set? Well, you can see that U prime, that'd be an empty set because everything's already in the universal set. So that'd be something that would be an empty set. And I'll do a little bit more on my next overview video of sets. I do wanna go over intersection and some other things with you, but I'll put those in a different video. So essentially, if you can just remember sets and a couple of these key, um, keywords, then you'll be all right.